Ah, whew, whew. Excuse my highly red mouth color. I have eaten a hot pepper, a chili pepper, a trained and murgo scorpion. Not all of it, I licked it, but it's enough to give me pain. Okay, no problem. Whatever horrors you may find in these dark spaces, have heart and see them through. There are no premature endings, there are no wrong decisions. There are only fresh perspectives and new beginnings. This is a love story. I got you. Ooh. Alright. Hello everybody. Welcome to Slay the Princess. My name is Sachon and it's going to be quite the adventure for both you guys and me. Because, because I don't know anything about this game besides the fact that it looks kind of like a game with horror elements. Horror elements to it. As well as a story progression like style, right? So your choices matter. That's something I have heard about this game. And I've seen Markiplier play it. And it well I haven't seen him play the whole game, I just saw that he he has started playing it. And I'm like, you know what? This is like a really cool game. Maybe we should do the same thing and follow the legend. Chapter one The Hero and the Princess. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Why? You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Why? Explain. Oh, wow. Okay, so the, my first question- oh my god. <laughs> okay, it's a bit more choices than in a Telltale game. Telltale game. My first question is, can I really trust the narrator? Because who's to say that this guy is speaking the truth, right? Explore the end of the world. What are you talking about? Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Killing a princess in front of my door. Can someone else do this? Have you considered that maybe she's okay with the world ending? Wow. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? That's a bit dark. Do I get any... So <laughs> the adventure response, like, okay, I will do it, but you need to promise me a reward, right? Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me what to do. Sweet! I've always wanted to off a monarch. Viva la revolucion! <laughs> Silently continue to the cabin. Turn around and leave. Okay. I'm talking about the end of everything as we know it. No more birds, no more trees, and perhaps most problematically of all, no more people. You have to put an end to her. Do you have every, any evidence to make this up? You're already on the path that leads to the cabin. Why would you be here if it weren't to complete a very important task? You've made it this far, you might as well reach the end of your journey. Now he's just trying to manipulate me. I ask you a question. Yeah. While I appreciate the mental exercise, we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. This guy will be a good scammer. He has all of the... He has all of the basics down. He knows how to manipulate people. He's saying that he, you have to rush, like he has no time. Nevertheless, let me assure you, the princess is locked up because she is dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. And before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. I was gonna ask him, yeah. Causality doesn't matter here, because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end, and there is no changing that. It's no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. Unless, of course, you do your job 
and slay her. Why is it my job? Don't they have like some kind of contractors for this? Yeah, good option. But I guess we'll just have to see what happens. But a word of warning. <clears throat> if you go in prepared to hear her out, she could easily trap you in her web of lies. And the more you listen to her honeyed words, the harder it'll be to pull yourself out. Who knows that? I mean, who's to say that this guy's not doing the, not doing the exact same and thing right and now? Every one of us is doomed. Bra. So this sure, go talk to her. See how that turns out for all of us. You know, make I'm... your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. You know, I'm kind of missing some context here, man. It's kind of a big request. Having been thrown into a situation like that and no information is being given to me. And I have, have to I have to rush apparently. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. We're not gonna go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Huh. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table, is a pristine blade. Is that what I have to conveniently use to kill her? Or is something? The blade is your implement. You'll yeah. need it if you want to do this right. It's conveniently right there on the table. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. I don't have any options now. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Maybe I should just let her go? You know, killing someone is not the only way of freeing somebody from a certain place, right? Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? Oh, that's her. That's a very old sounding princess, you know? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Why? Oh, I don't trust the narrator. Hi. Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. Okay, now she so sounds a little bit younger. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. What does she eat? She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? What? No way! Why would you even think that? Okay, yeah, you caught me. I'm here to slay you. No, uh, oh! I haven't decided yet. I'm just here to talk. Steal your nerves and step forward. Or maybe step forward with my steel. Uh, no, no, huh? I'm just here to talk. Then why did you bring a knife with you? How about you drop it, and then we can chat? She makes a compelling point. What if we just dropped the blade and talked? Look at her. It's not like she's a threat. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. 
Yeah, but you kind of want me to think that way. This is really hard. This is, this, this is a tough game. Tighten your... Drop it! The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Maybe now we can just... talk. Right. Okay. Well, I came here to talk. That's what I told her, so... Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. <sighs> Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Relationship? Are you coming on to me? How would I get you out of here? I'm here because you're supposed to end the world. There's people out there who think you are going to end the world. What do you have to say about that? What's your name? How long have you been down here? Do you know why I'm here to kill you? Okay, we've talked enough. I like the... I like her face. It's very artistic. I like the facial expressions. The developers of the game have made a good job so far. I really, really like it. It's quite mysterious. There's not so much information to very cut off. So I guess we just have to move forward, right? Don't jump to any weird conclusions. We're two people who have met each other. By definition, we have a relationship. Exactly. That's what I said. She hesitates before answering. You can address me as your royal highness. Or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Uh, avoiding the question. Note the lack of detail. You can't trust her. I won't come to that conclusion just yet. Too long. How long has she been down here? Again, she offers no specifics. No matter how hard you try, you'll never get a straight answer out of her. There's people out there who think you're going to end the world. Don't just tell her that. <laughs> Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I like the world. I think. Yeah, she is a little bit suspicious now. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here a long time. Just how long has she been down here? If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... dangerous? Yeah, good point. If she can end the world, then she can probably get out of a chain, right? Yeah, they do have reasons. I no, but I'm sure they have their reasons for keeping that information secret for me. All right, and yes, they probably do have reasons, but and but those reasons might not be in my best interest. And if I'm being honest, I'm more inclined to trust them than inclined to trust them. I don't know. I, I'm not inclined to trust any of you guys. I have no idea who I am. I don't know why I'm here, to be honest. <laughs> uh, I was hoping you'd tell me. Ending the world seems like an awful lot for just one person to do. I wouldn't even know where to start. I believe her. She doesn't have to know how to destroy the world to be capable of doing it. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. That doesn't sound right to me, and I don't think it sounds right to you, either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. Yeah. Right? But I don't want to seem too gullible for the other side, either. You know? You know? So... 
I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, or that I'd do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. But you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? She's right about one thing. Her word isn't worth anything. Like I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. So do you trust me, the prisoner, the victim, the princess clearly incapable of ending the world? Or do you trust whoever put me here? Uh, I don't like the manipulative tone. Now she is back on my wrong side again. She's wrong. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. Risk. We stand to lose everything. All for the sake of one person. Sounds like a dictatorship. Monarch, no less. Okay, so this is Stalin, right? How would I get you out of here? Awful little, uh, awful, awfully few options left now. You can't. Don't bother. I'm guessing you don't have the key then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't, well, we can always put that knife to good use. Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting, right? Well, cut, cutting the blade? I don't think a knife can cut a chain. She is. I'm sure of it. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. Nah. Both of them are trying to manipulate me. This is this is really cool. Yeah, I nice. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> yeah, good. That seems like a pretty good compromise. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. Yeah, now she's... Yeah, uh oh I don't like that. Not one and bit. And if you don't, I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. Okay, yeah, now she's clearly an enemy. Okay, you she just made it easier. Choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. Okay, she just made everything easier for us. I'm locking her. Okay, let's get you out of here. I don't like the fact she just made an ultimatum, right? I might have let her go, but now I'm more inclined to slay the princess. And that's the name of the game. <sighs> what would you guys do in this situation? What would you do right now when you saw it, when when you were to see this beautiful, very trustworthy, very trustworthy face with red text? Somehow she's talking in red text, and she's saying, "If you don't let her out, something very, very bad is going to happen in regards to you and your well-being." Right? Yeah. What what's what's the obvious choice here? Let's do the opposite of the obvious choice here. Lock her in. I know you think this is a fair compromise, but it isn't. It's a chance we'll have to take. We can make this work if we just stay here and keep what- You're making a mistake. You turn your back to the princess and make your way to the stairs. It won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Slip these chains? She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? Either way, she dropped her mask, didn't she? You can still turn around and finish the job. They are both right. You'll be the death of all of us, but fine. Have it your way. You close the basement door, locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. Okay. Okay. We can make this work. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. Alright. It isn't long before you start to drift off. 
your eyelids heavy with fatigue. But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling. Oh, she's come on, get me, get me out of here, please, please, get me out of here. You're still there. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? How is she banging on the door if she was on the chain? What? It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long, anyways. So she did get out of the chains. She's Wonderful. Terrifying. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out. Maybe the narrator was right. I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. What did I do? It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. No, it doesn't. I can be innocent and harmless if I want to be. Teasing me with fresh air and a chance to finally live freely doesn't inspire me to play nice. You put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence in the cabin. The ruckus has stopped, and the door to the basement is ajar. Its lock broken, and the table shoved out of the But she didn't kill us. Where is she? Thanks for helping me get out of that awful basement. How did I help her? I just locked her. What did I... Oh, maybe I left the knife? Maybe I left the knife behind? You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, you stay back. Body simply, it isn't all at once. You the stay back. This comes in waves. First, your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. Uh. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin. Leave me alone, please. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't <laughs> change them. So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? She steps closer. One silent. What is this thing? Time, cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down one by one. Yeah, okay, that's terrifying. Maybe I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. What a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here. We could have done such wonderful things together. Your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. But why did she... You have seconds left. She did not need my help to get out. She clearly got out herself. And if anything, I did help her by leaving the knife behind. So why does she... Why the hell is she being... Why, why is she trying to kill us? If anything, we just help her. I'd say better luck next time. But we both know this is the end, don't we? It can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. Uh-oh. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin, is a princess. Chapter 2? But it's the same beginning. It's the same beginning, right? You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end okay, of I'm the world. Okay, I'm a little bit more inclined to trust the narrator after all that, you know? Like, I don't want to pick sides so fast, but you know, maybe, maybe after all that, I'm a little bit more trusting to the narrator. Wow, okay, that's interesting. A terrible sense of deja vu. No, you don't have that. This is the first time either of us... Come have been on, here. don't try to... Gaslight me. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Shh. What if he hears us? Oh, so we were a hero at first, and now we're paranoid. That's a very good question, little voice. What if he does hear you? Shit. 
I think you'll find yourself <laughs> Shit. very hard pressed to keep any secrets from me. Not that it matters right now, because like I said, this is the first time we've met. Still, I'd rather not get off on the wrong foot. We've a world to save after all. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this whole thing just happened. We could go back and forth on this forever, and it won't get you any closer to doing your job and saving the world. So let's just agree to disagree. Yeah, let's assume I'm telling the truth. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother with anything? Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or at least a version of me. If you're back here, I'm assuming you died, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. Oh. We couldn't trust either of you, and as far as I'm concerned, we still can't. All we did was lock her away. And how'd that work out? Oh, there's three voices now, okay. No comment. I thought the hero was replaced by the by the paranoid one. But no, it's apparently a new addition. Well then, congratulations. You've been given another chance to actually do this right. <sighs> Alright, great. Your is to send us back in there. Do you want us to slay the princess? Or do you want the princess to slay us? Obviously, I want you to slay her. One of you poses a threat to the world, and the other doesn't. Anyways, I believe your other question was something along the lines of, What's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We were killed by the princess, and now everyone's right back where they started. Sounds pretty consequence-free to me. You know, I'm getting a little bit of a deja vu uh, to a different game. You guys know the game called Undertale by any chance? I'm sure you do. Yeah, this is exactly what that feels like right now. And if you know, you know. Speak for yourself. From my perspective, there were plenty of consequences. I'm never going to forget the way she just made us stop working. And that's only scratching the surface. If what you said is true, it begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or have you found yourself in another world altogether? If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she would? Yeah, I don't like the princess, but I still don't trust the narrator, right? If she brought an end to everything and everyone, how are we supposed to stop her? What do you want from us? Excuse me? What do you I want I want you to succeed. You'll find a way. You're the only one who can. Why is it me who can? And if you are the all-powerful narrator who sees everything, then why can't you make a choice? Why can't you make a change? Why is it always us? Why do you only narrate what we are doing and you don't actually do anything? Why is that? Let's talk about this princess. Proceed to the cabin. Turn around and leave. Let's talk about this princess again. So, what do you guys say? Should we... Should we follow the name of this game and should we actually slay that princess or should we become smarter and think with our own heads first? Let's talk about this princess. Just be quick about it. Just being around her in the end shut down all of my organs. What the hell am I supposed to do about that? Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't talk to her, don't trust her, just go in, do your job, and save the world. That sounds boring! Come on! That's way too boring. To quote from your last time, she is just a princess. How can you possibly justify saying that she is clearly something far, far worse? Who locked her in that basement? What is this place? People locked her in that basement. Thank you. Told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. No, don't oversimplify things. Too cool to last time. 
If people locked her away, why couldn't they slay her? Why is this failing on me exactly? Look, I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because you're special. You're the only person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy, if that helps. But it's just the way things are. You can't just go just into doing something by calling a special. It's manipulative. Why are you trying to manipulate us? This is true. I don't know. I kind of like being special. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like being special, you know? Like, sure, I have to kill some kind of freaking organ down shotting princess monstrosity for me to gain that title, but, you know, anything for, okay, fine. Maybe anything for that, right? Into doing something, but he's not even the one who makes the decisions here. Yeah. I'm not... And for what it's worth, sorry, I know you have it in you to finish the oh. job. That was way too fast. I, I didn't mean to skip the first, the last one. We don't. You saw what happened to us last time. We need to leave. We have to leave. No, don't leave. To quote you from last time, you're being cagey. What aren't you telling me? I told you everything you need to know. Ah. Going into more detail would just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. I don't mind. Please make it more difficult by all means. If that means telling you more information. If you want us to stand a chance against her, we need to be armed with information. What is she really capable of? How are we supposed to stop her? Yeah, see, I like this voice of the hero. He is speaking, he is speaking some facts. Not to sound like a broken record, but the less you know about her, the better things will go for all of us. I know it sounds like I'm hiding something, but you're just going to have to take me at my word. I won't do that. He isn't telling us everything he knows because he doesn't trust us, which means that we can't trust him. Good point. Stop talking yourself in neurotic circles and just get to the cabin already. Do you see the way he keeps pushing us? We have to get out of here. You know, the voice of the paranoid and the voice of the hero are both correct. She is just a princess. Whatever you think happened to you last time, just get it out of your head. Now you're just it. calling me stupid. Now you are calling us crazy. And I'm supposed to follow your and I'm supposed to follow your words blindly, you say? That's all. Right. Now if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. Uh-huh. Okay. A warning before you go any further. Before I go any further, okay. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. I don't think lying and cheating is a thing. She was very direct with us last time. Or at least, she was direct with us after we decided to lock her away. Yeah, true. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Don't trust anyone. It doesn't matter. Don't trust anyone. Not to be too much. Paranoia for me. <sighs> the interior of the cabin is plain, the smooth wood of the walls almost featureless. The only furniture of note is a lone table, knocked on its side in the corner of the room. A pristine blade stands between you and the open, inviting basement doorway. The blade is your implement. You'll need it. Hold on. What happened to the door? There was a door here last time. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. It's just an empty frame. She's already got now, hasn't she? And she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Come. I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not already gotten out. But if you keep getting stuck in your head like this, you're going to struggle to get the job done. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Your task awaits, and only you can do it. Yeah, the mirror. You're right. I was so stuck on the eyes watching us that I didn't even notice it there. <laughs> what are you two talking about? There isn't a mirror. There's a table, the blade sitting on the floor, and the open doorway leading to the basement. There's nothing else in here. The narrator doesn't see the mirror. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. We have to look at it. Unless that's what he wants us to do. And pretending it isn't there is a trick to get us to do exactly what he wants. Ah, oh, too much paranoia. Again, too much. Way too much. Why would you lie about there not being a mirror when it's clearly right there? What's the point? I want to look at myself. I want to, want to see how handsome I am. It doesn't matter. It does matter. Exactly. Why do you lie? 
Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would Amira even do? Let you waste time preening yourself instead of doing what needs to be done. You know what? I'm gonna just approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the empty basement door frame. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. Well, now there's no mirror, and why are my hands like that? Am I... Am I the beast from the Beast and Beauty? Did he make it go away? Clearly there was something in there worth investigating if he wants it hidden so bad. Wow. Well. Very different. Yeah, it's very different now. He changed it, didn't he? It's like he's trying to make us doubt our reality. Yeah, he's gaslighting us hard right now. Calm down. Maybe the three of you just think everything is different because you haven't been here before. Enough of this past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. Yeah, but why are you trying to gaslight us so freaking badly? If you want us to get something done, then maybe you should be honest with us, yeah? So focus up. A lot's riding on this. A lot's riding on this, right? You know what? I'm gonna ride your face into a wall if you keep doing this bullshit. Take the blade. Fine, I'll Reach take the blade. Down and pick the blade up off the floor. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good. Steel can't lie to us. <laughs> Is it gonna be enough, though? Couldn't you have given us something else? Something, I don't know, better than a knife? Could we have a bomb? Can we have a bomb? Asked the man casually. The blade is the only thing you need to finish your task. You're more than capable of pulling this off, so long as you don't lose faith in yourself. Yeah, but why do I only get the blade? That's a good point. Those are the words of someone who knows he's sending us to our death. Yeah, right. Okay, let's enter. You cross over the threshold and onto a series of isolated steps suspended in darkness. <sighs> okay, guys, so we're about to enter the... The basement again with the princess and things are looking strange like there's definitely something suspicious going on and I'm getting very strong Undertale vibes that our past choices matter. It's not a total reset Which is great. I love these kind of games So if you guys would like to see the next part then please hit the like button and subscribe so you can see it And I get some likes of when we all we all live tomorrow and eat tomorrow for another day so, thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you in the next episode where we may or may not slay the princess or figure out what the hell is happening. Because, um, yeah, the game got me curious. This is, this is, this is fun. I like it. So, thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye-bye!